the German chancellors, uh, Helmut Kohl, Helmut Schmidt, uh, Gerhard Schröder, Angela Merkel, they understood very well how to handle China, how to handle the political, economical and other issues. And they understood, and that is my advice to understand also in the future, the whole range, the full range of our relationship. It's not only trade. Trade is important, yes, but it is investment. It is technological cooperation. It is cooperation among universities. It is partnership among cities and so on. What I want to say is, if you focus only on one issue, which is in conflict, then you probably use, uh, lose uh, the, the view on the full range of a very well-developed relationship between China and Germany or China and the European Union. And we have to take into account as responsible political and business leaders, the full range of relationships, not only one point, one single issue, one single topic, which narrows the view on what we have reached. And that is the best relationship in history we ever had. I observed the development of China since the 1980s. And I always understood that China is uh, constructive uh, in global uh, topics and global challenges. And China made a remarkable uh, regeneration uh, in the last 40 years, especially since the opening up and modernization uh, led by uh, Deng Xiaoping. So basically, I would say China is a constructive power on the globe. And by the way, it's an indispensable power on the globe because all the global challenges we are facing as uh, mankind uh, can only be solved by cooperation and that China. Well, uh, this uh, 14th uh, five-year plan is uh, a clear signal that uh, China now is uh, something like a, a society and a country uh, with uh, some medium economic uh, well-being. And uh, it describes and outlines very clear uh, the Chinese ambition to become a more wealthy, a more healthy, more greener uh, economy and society. And what I see is that is in the best benefit and in the best interest of the Chinese people.